Indian system to grade eight, and then I moved on to British system. Um, like in terms of science, I think it's more uh, condensed and uh, harder compared to our maths because. I mean, if you're doing calculus right now, this, whatever you're learning right now, they've done it already in grade 8 and grade 9. So, they're much more advanced if you think about it. Um, another, another thing they're advanced in is, uh, in terms of calculator. We use calculators since what, grade 8, grade 7, some of us grade 6. But they start using calculators in what, grade 11? Full of mental maths. I remember doing one page division sums, which took a lot of time. But, it's so, it's really hard. Um, Education system, grades is one of the most important things. Um, they compete. Competition is really, really high in India. Um, like, they write these public exams, like in grade 12, they're just like some of our IP2s just finished writing their SATs and got their scores back. Just like that, they have all the India entrance exams to colleges, universities. So, uh, you get rankings, like you get first in your state, first in your country, things like that, and you get a percentage, like out of 100. Uh, so, they compete using those numbers, so you can maybe miss a college seat by 0.1% maybe, because he might get 95.8, I might get 95.7. Because he's got a higher grade than I have, he'll get the seat, not me. Um, and everything like that. India, nothing required. Your name and your grade, that's all we need. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> That's all that matters. Um, and but okay, talking about the political side of education, um, I think politics has a big influence, a major influence in in, in the education system, uh, especially nowadays, because uh, like there's a lot of politicians, um, ministers of parliament, ministers of uh, LA, MLAs, that's what they call them. Um, all these guys are powerful. So what they do is. Uh, they t I mean, all these colleges you're applying to are mostly government colleges. So, uh, what happens is they talk to the colleges and they say, okay, book these seats, get that, but we have money, but we don't have the talent. Maybe we just failed by one mark, or uh, we, got, we got 94 instead of 95, or something like that. I mean, the, their boundaries are so high, like 95%, 96%. If you miss it, you've missed it. You, uh, you'll have to pay a lot of money to get your seat. But, I mean, it's, it's, not, uh, it's not fair on people who... I mean, who have their intelligence but don't have the money to study. Uh, because, I mean, just because you got 94 percent, it doesn't mean you, got, you can't be a good CEO of a company in the future. Uh, but unfair, but it's, that's what happens in India. Uh, I think it's because of the population. Uh, we have a huge population, uh, not enough colleges, not enough infrastructure. Uh, well, India is still improving, it's still a developing country, so it'll take some time for them. Uh, so that's why I think there's competition. I mean, seriously, if you think about it, there's just just like, I mean, most of us are IP students over here, so just like the bread box every day in our hostels. There's just one loaf of bread, 100 people fighting for it, just the first, first one who gets in, gets there, gets the bread. Simple as that. So just like that, I think there's so many people and all of them are striving for education because it seems like education is the key to success uh, in India. Uh, another, another thing is I think Politicians use um, education and uh, university, the uh, people who study in universities, as uh, as a tool for strikes. Um, like taking take an example, uh, like in my state, which is Andhra Pradesh, the south of, south of India. Um, what they wanted to do is make another state within my state. So what they did is the politicians went and they contacted the students and student unions in colleges, and the colleges are quite big, you know. Uh, not like water for like 500 students, it's quite small if you think about it, but they have like tens of thousands of students. So what they do is they contact the leaders, they influence them, maybe pay their school fees or something like that, get a, get, get a huge mob and then strikes. Some of them even go crazy and commit suicide. So I mean, that's, I think that's a huge influence uh, of politicians <coughs> in the education system. Still, I still um, right, there are four major castes in India, um, the Brahmins, the Kshatriyas, the Vaishyas, and the Shudras. Right, the Brahmins, um, as you heard, education is a very important part, uh, plays a very important role in the lives of Indians. So, Brahmins, who are the highest caste, they're supposed to be priests and scholars, um, including teachers, including teachers, um, because and, and they would actually earn the most money 
and um, like it would it would carry on in the family. It's 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 a kind of a social social division. Um, and yeah, I mean if you're if you're a Brahmin, you're you're kind of your your life is kind of set. Um, and moving on, there's the Kshatriya caste, which is the warrior caste. Um, so this, yeah, warriors and, um, yeah, kings, warriors, all these kinds of things. You see, the kings are below teachers. That's how important education is. <laughs> right. Um, well, that's in those days. Yeah, that's in those days. Um, then you have Veshas, which includes businessmen, the, um, well, slaves, serfs, servants. Um, yeah, they would do all kinds of, like, uh, for example, slaughtering animals in India would be a very um, disgusting thing to do. So those kinds of things would be, those kinds of things would be done by um, this caste. Um, so yeah, these these things don't really apply now. The way it, the way it kind of works now is that a good example of this would be um, um, the metal steel company um, discrimination on the lowest caste, um, that is the shudras, um, as in people people who are um, in, in, in a job application form, for example, you'd be asked for your caste, and if you're if you if you are a shudra, then uh, you will not be given the job. I mean, it's, it's obvious you won't be given the job. So, um, and, and then, like, some, uh, although this was outlawed by the government, no one followed it. Um, th I mean, people, people are still called untouchables. They're, they're paid uh, less than average salary. I mean, um, this is, we're, we're talking less than one dollar a day. Um, no, well, less than one dollar a month. Which is which is ridiculous, and they 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 really can't survive. They 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 I mean, like they dig up dustbins to find food, and um, that's the way they live. And their average life is about twenty five, and then they die. Got a motivation to study, which is good because education I think is um, is important to succeed in life, and it is negative because I think people take it to ex to an extreme. Like competition is should be taken in a positive sense, but. Some people take it as external pressure, and, and also I think parents um, tend to put more stupid things like not just coming to set, but also getting to drugs and alcohol. But, but. Uh, okay, yeah, that, that is true, and that's why um, I think it, it applies from... Uh, it's, either, it, it's either applied this year or on the past that starts this year, but uh, for CBSE and ICSE boards, those are Indian boards, um, they've started a new grade system, but then most parents and like many people are unhappy um, against it, completely against it. Because I mean, um, like my school, percentages were calculated in three decimal places. So you get 95.853, <laughs> and those are the first three. And then the tenth rank would be 94.974. See that that kind of a thing, which is which is ridiculous. And and I mean people people are now against the 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 grading system, which which kind of puts you like if you get ninety percent and if you get hundred percent it puts you on the same um, same position. So so it it like it's difficult now for Indian Indian universities to select like. There, there'll be people who, who have done extracurricular activities since they were eight. But then now, because there's the grading system, that's one of the reasons why parents are against it. Because now because there's the, there's the grading system, um, if, if there are two people who, are, who have exactly the same grades, they'll look at the X factor, which is... Yeah. 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 <laughs> look, the, 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 the point of... Um, like they, they will now they're gonna try and pressurize themselves on doing extracurricular activities. Like they're gonna be like, I wanna do skating today, cricket today, football today, <laughs> and, then and then and then until four o'clock in the morning they're gonna study, six o'clock they go to school. Aren't they pressurizing themselves?